Welcome to this episode of Eagle Air TV. I'm El Justice. And I'm Eli Dean. This episode includes Lunch Ladies. Catch me if you can. Chance of Snow. Spanish Club. And Engineering. The musical is just around the corner. Abigail Coburn gives us a quick preview. Catch Me If You Can is this year's 2022 fall musical. Lakin Wools is the director of the musical and says it's different than ever before. The next musical that we're doing is Catch Me If You Can. It's a musical, it's based in the 1960s. It follows Frank Abagnale Jr., who is a con artist and he moves throughout his life, kind of trying to run away from the FBI. So he goes through, he's a, flat, he's a pilot, he becomes a doctor, he's a lawyer, all these things, trying to run away from his problems and kind of get his parents back together. That's his goal through it. So it's a really fun musical. It's super high energy, a lot of really fun dance numbers, and it follows just the story of the 16-year-old kid trying to figure out who he's supposed to be. Cameron Donnell is starring as Frank Jr. in the musical. He says a lot goes on behind the scenes to present a good show to the public. This show stands out to me a lot because this is more of like a big jazzy type of deal. It's not basic musical theater where it's just a lot of like singing and dancing. It's a lot more just like jazz and just kind of like talking to one another and like trying to push the story forward rather than just singing songs and having a story. Tickets are cheap, it's at the junior high, and I don't know, it'll be a fun time. And who knows, maybe I'll break a leg. Catch Me If You Can is going to be performed at the junior high. For ticket information, go to nixatheater.net. For Eagle Air TV, this is Abigail Coburn. Hey Al, what do you think the lunch ladies do after school? I'm not sure. Adia Lancaster gives us more. The lunch ladies have been working very hard this year to serve us lunch every day. Lunch lady Jamie Stein says her co-workers and her do things together outside of work. Try to get together um, at Christmas time and go out. Um, we try to get together maybe toward the end of the school year and go out. Uh, we do at Christmas time the last several years we have taken up donations between us here in the kitchen and adopt as many families. Usually we can get enough money to do two kids from least of these so we just instead of exchanging gifts with each other we'd rather give it to somebody that needs it so we do that and that's you know that makes us feel like a really good team when we're we know we're working together to help other people. My favorite thing about being here in the kitchen is besides interacting with the ladies back here because we get along really well is honestly working with you kids. When you guys come through the line I try to learn as many names as I possibly can. Some of them I know but Seeing your faces and interacting with you guys, it really is the best part of the day. Lunch lady Larissa Horn says she owns a small business and loves her coworkers. Uh, it's here in Nixa, locally owned and operated. And we also have our items at Sugar Cube Lane, which is here in Nixa. And then also we do local craft fairs as well. Um, I love my coworkers here in the kitchen. They're great. Um, I love the hours. Um, I normally get here from 8, so I'm here till 1, so again, um, just like my small business, I am able to kind of work around my kids' schedule. I get them on the bus in the mornings, but then I'm also home before they're home, and so they're never alone. If you are interested in purchasing from Engraved Decor and Gifts, contact the email above. For Eagle Air TV, this is Adia Lancaster. Hola L, K-A, para Alamanzar. I am not quite sure what you mean by that. Well, you would if you went to Spanish Club. Spanish Club is a club for students to learn about the Spanish culture and to do fun activities. Ashley Dents is the leader of the Spanish Club. The uh, Spanish Club is um, a group that we do things after school to, it's kind of an extension of things that we do in class to learn about uh, Hispanic culture, uh, about their holidays and things that they do, and it's a, uh, another opportunity to make a connection with the language, with the culture. We usually meet um, on Wednesdays, uh, every other Wednesday, just kind of depends on what we have going on. We also meet sometimes on weekends to do off-campus activities. I would say some of the benefits of being in Spanish Club are that you get to do a lot of fun activities that we don't have time to do in class. 
for example, um, next week we are going to celebrate Day of the Dead, and so we'll have a big party with food, and we'll have like all of the traditional things that they have for um, Day of the Dead, like the Pan de Muerto, and we'll do the hot chocolate and things like that. Um, we also do some field trips, so next week we're going to a um, Day of the Dead festival at Missouri State, so that's just, it's a fun way to be able to learn more um, for those students that are really interested in Spanish. Thomasina Brown says what she likes about Spanish clubs. Um, I really like being able to meet up with a bunch of different students who kind of share the same interests and like gaining that cultural competence and learning about other cultures. For Eulair TV, this is Tanner Midyet Report. Hey Eli, did you know there's a chance of snow this week? Come on, it's November. Lily Maggard gives us a look. Chance of Snow Coffee is a drive through coffee and snow cone shop in Nixa. The owner, Aaron Battaglia, enjoys the Nixa community. Yeah, so um, I really wanted to start a coffee shop kind of growing up. It was kind of always like a, just like kind of a dream of mine. And um, I finally had the opportunity back in like the end of 2019, going into 2020. Um, my father-in-law uh, had bought this old um, snow cone shop. And it was just like a little shed, a little building that was out in Springfield. And I asked him if I could use his building to start a coffee shop and then eventually kind of add the, the snow part to it as well. So um, he said yes, and so I just kind of went for it. I quit my job and kind of went all in, and I started it by myself, um, starting off, and then I had a good support team. My wife was helping me, um, as well as my father-in-law and, and, uh, and my mother-in-law too. They kind of all helped us start it. And uh, yeah, kind of just took off from there. I think the, the local aspect of it is um, just, really great. I mean, we care about our customers. Um, I love, if we have a big line, I love looking back in the line and seeing someone I know three cars back and then having their favorite coffee ready to go when they get to the window. That's like one of my favorite things to do. So it's been great. I, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else, to be honest. So When senior Lexi Ely visits Chance of Snow, they often have her drink waiting for her. My favorite thing is um, just the drinks in general. The drinks are really good. I get the same thing every time. I get a Red Bull spritzer. Um, they usually have it ready whenever I get there because I get it the same every single time. Um, but I also have rewards there, so sometimes I get free drinks and sometimes they give me discounts on drinks. So they're just really nice in general. So Chance of Snow is located in the River of Life Church parking lot across from McDonald's. For Eagle Air TV, this has been Lily Maggard. Five, four, three, two. Hi, my name's Lily. And I'm Phoebe, and welcome to your announcements for this week. Senior composites are November 15th. Thanksgiving break is the 21st through the 25th. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for a special edition of Eagle Air TV. Seniors, don't forget to order your cap and gowns. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Eagle Air TV. Remember to stay safe, and you matter. As someone who just got their car, I don't feel safe driving on these terrible roads. There's been so many accidents, and... There's not enough room in the hospital. The whole emergency department's full of people being crashes, and these roads just need a lot of help. Eli Dean, please save Southern Stone County. Man, reading about these Southern Stone County roads makes me sad. As your Southern Stone County Road Commissioner, I will do absolutely nothing and get paid way too much. Because no one's running, vote me, Eli Dean, to be your Southern Stone County Road Commissioner.